Now let's quickly talk about your boy Guile. We all saw the trailer. Guy looking sick. Special move specials look hard. But what is his story saying? Let's check it out. A US Air Force pilot who fights for his country. Guile succeeded in dismantling Shadow Lou and avenging his friend Charlie? <laughs> what? Uh, are we already running into inconsistencies? Oh dear. Oh dear. That is pure cap. And people, if you didn't get the memo, none of this is actually true. Not only did Gal not avenge Charlie, he had absolutely nothing to do with M. Bison getting defeated. Didn't defeat any of the four kings, didn't do nothing. The man practically ran into the Shadowloo base, watched his friend sacrifice himself, then ran back out. What are you talking about? Didn't even come close to touching M. Bison. We get it, you can't bury the guy in his bio, but you could tell a more accurate version of the story. Give me 10 seconds, I'll come up with a more accurate version of the story. Um, let's go. Guile. After years of chasing down M. Bison and Shadowloo, Guile finally got the drop. As a team, Guile and the others stormed the Shadowloo base. Then, Charlie Nash, in a valiant effort, sacrificed his life to weaken M. Bison. Ryu then delivered the final attack, seemingly defeating the dictator for good. With Shadowloo now dismantled and M. Bison defeated, Guile could now close that chapter of his life and retire but would be more than willing to come out of retirement to take on any new threats. There you go. What did you think? Spitting facts or what? <laughs> no, but a more accurate version of the story, obviously. But people, what do you think Gal's story should be in Street Fighter 6? I'll give you three options. One. Should he go after this JP guy? You know, the guy that looks like Leroy's lost brother. Apparently, he knows psycho power. We don't even know if it's a good guy or a bad guy. Two, should he go after Neo Shadowloo? Take down Ed and his shitty crew. Or three, stay home and be a family man. Which one, people?